Oh wow, that is a bit too zoomed in. What's up crew? Working on trying to get this video centered and then I can show you some stuff. Okay. So let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so this is a quick demonstration on a few of the gas laws or the behavior of gases. So this thing, if you want to take a full look at it, I'll back up a bit. This is a cylinder, right? But it actually has a lock. So you can lock the air in there when you close this. This part that can push up and down, kind of like here, see? That's called a movable piston. This is like what's inside of a car engine. So this is a rigid cylinder. Rigid means not floppy. Oh, why is this wet? Ew. Anyway, you know how a balloon could change size? This can't change size. It'll just like explode. So this is called a rigid cylinder with a movable piston. Okay, so let's get back to this guy. All right, so let's make this easy. First, the amount of air molecules in there right now is going to stay constant because I am going to lock this shut. So this is a pressure gauge to tell you how much the air molecules are pressing. There is a thermometer. You see it at the bottom there, that little black dot? That's a temperature gauge. So we have a thermometer, and we have a reading on the amount of space the gas takes up the volume. Okay, so let's see what happens. So first, what happens if I start to press on the gas by tightening this? See? It's got a screw. I'm tightening the piston down. So it started at 60 milliliters, and I'm decreasing the volume. Now here's the thing, it's locked. The gas cannot get out. So the gas molecules that usually have a lot of empty space between them, they're gonna get pressed closer together, okay? You can't crush or compress a solid or liquid. You can compress a gas because it's mostly empty space. So watch what happens. Keep your eye, oops, sorry. Okay, keep your eye on the pressure and the temperature as I start to crush the gas. So if we lower the volume and we're pressing the gas molecules closer and closer together. What do you notice happening with the pressure? See that? The pressure is increasing. That's because the gas molecules, you can't see them, but they're all knocking into each other like crazy. And actually, because they're knocking into each other much more, because there's less space for them to move around in, what do you notice is happening to the temperature in there? See that? As you put more pressure on a gas, the temperature rises. And if you put pressure on the gas, the volume decreases because you push the gas molecules closer together. So if you decrease the volume, the pressure increases. If you increase the pressure, the temperature also increases. So watch this. This is actually how an air conditioner and refrigerator work. You have the gas get compressed in the back part, like the part of the air conditioner outside the window or the back of the refrigerator. Now check this out. Watch the temperature when I let the gas go to lower pressure. Ready? Watch the temperature right now. Did you see how much the temperature just dropped with the pressure? So basically, if you put a gas at high pressure, it gets hotter. But if you decrease the pressure, it gets colder. That colder, lower temperature part, that is what happens on one end of an air conditioner and refrigerator. So air conditioners and refrigerators work by compressing gases. So do car engines and other things. So really quick demo. So let's recap on this and I wanna show you something. If you lower the volume, the gas has less space to move. So the molecules bump into each other and the container, they keep hitting the sides more. So that means the pressure rises. As the pressure increases, the air molecules keep slamming into each other much more, so the temperature also rises. So volume down, pressure up, temperature up. And then if you flip that, 
everything else flips. So if you increase the volume, the pressure drops and the temperature drops. And that's how an air conditioner and refrigerator work. So this thing, could show you how hot you can make a gas by decreasing the volume and increasing the pressure really quickly. You gotta watch this though, it happens really rapidly. So if you need to see it again, rewind the video. Okay, what I'm gonna do is slam down on the top of the piston really hard, really fast, and make the air molecules have almost nowhere to go. So the pressure is gonna increase like crazy. Watch what happens to a piece of cotton. I don't know if you could see it. There's a little piece of cotton right there, okay? It's like feathery. All right, watch this. All right, three, two, one. Oh, that wasn't that great. Let's try it again. Too much cotton. All right, try it again. All right, reset. Okay, three, two, one. You see that? It got so hot in there when I crushed the gas down to that tiny little volume that the cotton caught fire. You see what happens? Oh, look, when you press on a gas, watch what happens when I let go. See, look, the gas molecules, they're still there. You can't squish them until there's no size left. That's impossible. If I pressed hard enough, this thing would explode, but I'm not that strong. <sighs> but you see how when you let go of the gas, it pushes back up, see? That's called air pressure. All right, cool. So volume down, pressure up, temperature up. See, you lower the volume, the pressure increases and the temperature in there gets hotter. But when you let up on a gas, the volume increases, the pressure eases, so it drops and the temperature drops. And that's how we get air conditioners and refrigerators. Cool.